Sloan is a Canadian rock band from Halifax, Nova Scotia. Sloan has released 12 full-length albums, two EPs, a live album, a greatest hits album and more than 30 singles. The band has received nine Juno Award nominations, winning one. The band is known for their sharing of songwriting and lead vocals from each member of the group and their unaltered lineup throughout their career. History, Formation 1986 to 1991 Chris Murphy was introduced to Jay Ferguson through Matt Murphy in 1986. The three played together in a band called the Deluxe Boys. The band disbanded in 1987 and Ferguson and Murphy formed the band Carney Lake Road with Henri St. Galang later that year. In 1989, Murphy met and befriended Andrew Scott. Carney Lake Road broke up in early 1990. That same year, Murphy and Scott were attending the Nova Scotia College of Art and Design, and Scott, in Halifax and began jamming together. Ferguson started jamming with Murphy and Scott and they began searching for a bass player. Murphy knew of Patrick Pentland's vocal and guitar abilities from Pentland's previous bands and offered him a spot in the band. Pentland accepted, and Sloan was formed in late January 1991. The band is named after the nickname of their friend, Jason Larson. Larson was originally called Slow One by his French-speaking boss which, with the French accent, sounded more like Sloan. The original agreement was that they could name the band after Larson as long as he was on the cover of their first album. As a result, it is Larson who appears on the cover of the Peppermint EP. Geffen Records, Peppermint EP, 1991-1992 On February 8, 1991, Sloan played their first show at an art show in Scott. Murphy and Pentland later switched roles, with Pentland now playing guitar and Murphy playing bass. Through a battle of the band's type gig, the band got a spot on the DTK Records compilation Here and Now and a session with local producer Terry Pulliam at his Sound Market Studios. The band took the opportunity to record an album's worth of songs. One of the songs recorded was the song Underwhelmed, which was selected for the Here and Now compilation. The band attracted interest from Canadian record labels Network and MCA Canada. After attracting interest from Todd Sullivan, an A&R representative at Geffen Records, a copy of Sloan's Pulliam Sessions was sent to Sullivan. After seeing Sloan play in Vancouver, Sullivan committed to Sloan and the band signed to Geffen. In 1992, Sloan released their first recording, the EP Peppermint. It was released on the band's own label, Murder Records. Smeared, twice removed, 1992-1994 on October 1, 1992. Sloan released their debut full-length album Smeared on Geffen. The lead single from the album was a re-recorded version of Underwhelmed, which was a hit in Canada and peaked at number 25 on Billboard's Modern Rock Tracks chart in the U.S. In 1993, Sloan embarked on a 10-week North American tour, which included dates opening for the Lemonheads. The band then later began recording their second album. The recordings for the album were a departure from the shoe or grunge style on the band's previous album, which did not please Geffen. When Sloan refused Geffen's request to re-record the album, Geffen pulled promotional support for it. In 1994, the band released the second album, which was titled Twice Removed. Spin named the album one of the best albums you didn't hear in 1994. One chord to another to pretty together. 1995 to 2001 in the summer of 1995, Sloan re-emerged and played a handful of shows, including a headlining gig at Edgefest. In late 1995, when the band had considered themselves broken up, the band decided to release another Sloan album to help their murder records label financially and boost its profile. Though Geffen wanted to keep Sloan on the label, the band wanted to leave and Sloan was released from the label. In 1996, Sloan released one chord to another on Murder Records in Canada. The album would go on to sell over 80,000 copies and become their best-selling album. In 1997, the band won their first Juno Award, winning the Best Alternative Album Award for one chord to another. In 1998, the band released Navy Blues. Like one chord to another, Navy Blues achieved gold status in Canada. In 1999, Sloan released their first live album, Four Nights at the Palais Royale. 
The live album was followed that same year by their next studio album, Between the Bridges. In 2001, Sloan signed a licensing agreement with BMG Music Canada. That same year, Sloan released their next album, Pretty Together. Action Packed, a sides win, 2003-2005 Sloan made a concerted effort to break into the US market on their 2003 release Action Packed. Songs were recorded in LA with Tom Rothrock producing. The glossier, radio-ready sound failed to raise Sloan's profile in the US though they continued to be highly popular in Canada. In 2005, Sloan released their first compilation album, Asides Win, singles 1992-2005. The album included two new songs, all used up and try to make it. The Japanese release included two additional new tracks. Yep Rock Records, Never Hear the End of It, Parallel Play. 2006 to 2008 now signed to Yep Rock Records for their US releases, Sloan released their eighth album, Never Hear the End of It in 2006. The album contained 30 tracks with all the members of the band contributing new songs. It was met with widespread critical acclaim and became the first Sloan album to chart in the United States. In 2008, Sloan followed up their longest album with their shortest ever release at the time, Parallel Play. Hit and Run and Besides Win, 2009 to 2010 in November 2009, Sloan added a digital music store to their website. To promote the store, the band released an online-only EP titled Hit and Run. The song Take It Upon Yourself was released as a free single. In February 2010, the band released another online exclusive, the compilation album Besides Win, Extras. Bonus tracks and B sides 1992 to 2008. The Double Cross, twice removed reissue, 2011 to 2013. Sloan announced plans to release a 10th album in 2011, to coincide with the 20th anniversary of their first show. On February 22, 2011, Sloan announced that their new album would be released on May 10, 2011. The album was entitled The Double Cross, a nod to their 20th. Or 20, anniversary. The album was preceded by its first single, Unkind. In promotion of the new album, a special video series produced and directed by Catherine Stockhausen was launched on YouTube to commemorate the illustrious success of the band. Interviewed in these videos are several musicians and celebrities such as Jason Schwartzman, Joel Plaskett, Stefan Brogren, Dave Foley, Kevin Drew, Buck 65, Sebastian Granger. The Deers, Ansa and Benjamin Gowell which is from Billy Talent, KOS, and Dave Hamlin. Following the completion of touring for the Double Cross, Sloan reissued and toured behind twice removed as a three-record vinyl box set containing the original album, rarities, and demos. They toured North America, where they played twice removed in its entirety, followed by additional sets of songs that don't appear on the album. On April 24, 2013, Sloan announced the release of a hardcore punk 7 inches single, Jenny B, W It's In You, It's In Me. Pre-orders of the single also included a t-shirt portraying the band members circa 1985, and a bonus digital download of 12 additional hardcore covers performed by Sloan. Some of the bands covered included Minor Threat, The Descendants, Angry Samoans, 7 Seconds, Black Flag and The Nils. Between 2011 and 2013, Sloan also released three limited edition live bootleg LPs from their archives, Is That All I Get? 1993 September 20th, recorded live on Patrick's birthday, 2011, Australia 1999, 2012, and Japan 2002, 2013. Commonwealth, 20th anniversary of one chord to another. 2013 to 2017 and 2013, the band revealed plans for a double album, with each of the four sides featuring a solo suite by a different band member. In May 2014, it was announced that the new album would be titled Commonwealth and would be released in September 2014. On July 14, 2014, the band announced the official release date for the album and the release of the album's first single, Keep Swinging, Downtown. In 2016, Sloan released a deluxe final box set of their 1996 album, One Chord to Another, 
which contained the original album, rarities, and demos. To mark that record's 20th anniversary, Sloan also toured North America, where they played the Okta album in its entirety. In November 2016, Sloan released a Christmas single on limited edition, Red Translucent 7 Inches Vinyl, featuring two new songs, Kids Come Back Again at Christmas and December 25, 12, 2018 Present on February 5, 2018, Sloan announced that their 12th record would be called 12. Advanced track releases included The Day Will Be Mine, Spin Our Wheels, the album's lead single, Right to Roam, and 44 Teenagers. The album was released on April 6, 2018. The album debuted at number 11 on the Billboard Heat Seekers chart, which is the band's highest position on that chart in their history. Songwriting, live performances, all four members of Sloan write and sing their own songs, and when they play live they switch instruments accordingly. Usually the band performs as follows, Murphy plays bass, Pentland plays lead guitar, Ferguson plays rhythm guitar and Scott plays drums. Scott plays guitar while singing his songs, while Ferguson switches to bass and Murphy switches to drums. Prior to 2006's Never Hear the End of It, Ferguson and Scott would also play electric piano on songs that called for it. Multi-instrumentalist Gregory McDonald has handled all keyboard duties live and in the studio since 2006. Murphy and Pentland would be considered the two main vocalists as they sing lead on the majority of the band's songs and contribute backup slash harmony vocals to all of them. While Murphy has written more of the band's songs than any of the other members, particularly on the band's first two albums, Pentland is nonetheless responsible for having written a majority of Sloan's most recognizable hits. Every member of the group has contributed at least one song per album with the lone exception being 2003's Action Pact in which Scott has no songs. According to iWeekly, that album's producer, Tom Rothrock, essentially randomly selected tracks out of the band's submissions in the interest of creating a more streamlined sound. Scott's songwriting output at that time may also have been somewhat diminished because he had recently become a father. Members Jay Ferguson, vocals, rhythm guitar, bass guitar, 1991 present Chris Murphy, vocals, bass guitar, drums, 1991 present Patrick Pentland, vocals, lead guitar, 1991 present Andrew Scott, vocals, drums, rhythm guitar, 1991 present touring members Gregory McDonald, keyboards, percussion, 2006 present, discography, studio albums honors and awards in 1996, a reader pulled by Canadian Music Magazine chart. Round twice removed as the best Canadian album of all time, only two years after its release. The same poll in 2000 ranked the album third, behind Joni Mitchell's Blue and Neil Young's Harvest. However, the 2005 poll once again ranked the album first. The band has also been nominated for several Juno Awards winning one in 1997 for Best Alternative Album for One Court to Another. Juno Awards Source 1994, nominated, Best New Group 1995, nominated, Best Alternative Album, Twice Removed 1997, won, Best Alternative Album, One Court to Another 1999, nominated, Best Rock Album, Navy Blues 2000, nominated, Best Album Design, Catherine Stockholland and Lee Toundro, Between the Bridges 2002, nominated, Best Rock Album, Pretty Together 2002, nominated, Best Single, If It Feels Good Do It 2007, nominated, Best Rock Album, Never Hear the End of It 2009, nominated, Best Rock Album, Parallel Play 2012, nominated, Best Rock Album, The Double Cross. East Coast Music Awards 1993, nominated, Album of the Year, Smeared, Entertainer of the Year, Pop Rock Recording of the Year, Song of the Year, Underwhelmed, Video of the Year, Underwhelmed 1996, 1, Alternative Recording of the Year nominated, Pop Rock Recording of the Year, Video of the Year, People of the Sky 1997, 1, Alternative Recording of the Year, Group of the Year nominated, Pop Rock Recording of the Year 1998, nominated, 
single of the year, everything you've done wrong. Video of the year, everything you've done wrong 1999, nominated, group of the year, video of the year, Money City Maniacs 2001, nominated, group of the year 2002, 1, video of the year, if it feels good do it nominated, album of the year, pretty together, entertainer of the year, group of the year, rock recording of the year, songwriter of the year, if it feels good do it 2003, nominated, entertainer of the year, single of the year, the other man, video of the year, the other man 2004, 1, video of the year, the rest of my life nominated, album of the year, action packed, group of the year, rock recording of the year, action packed, single of the year, the rest of my life, songwriter of the year, the rest of my life 2006 nominated, single of the year, all used up 2007 one, rock recording of the year, never hear the end of it nominated, album of the year, never hear the end of it, group of the year, see also, Canadian Rock Music of Canada, references, external links official website Sloan on IMDb, Sloan is a Canadian rock band from Halifax, Nova Scotia. Sloan has released 12 full-length albums, 2 EPs, a live album, a greatest hits album and more than 30 singles. The band has received 9 Juno Award nominations, winning 1. The band is known for their sharing of songwriting and lead vocals from each member of the group and their unaltered lineup throughout their career. History, Formation, 1986-1991 Chris Murphy was introduced to Jay Ferguson through Matt Murphy in 1986. The three played together in a band called the Deluxe Boys. The band disbanded in 1987 and Ferguson and Murphy formed the band Carney Lake Road with Henri St. Galang later that year. In 1989, Murphy met and befriended Andrew Scott. Carney Lake Road broke up in early 1990. That same year, Murphy and Scott were attending the Nova Scotia College of Art and Design, in Scott, in Halifax and began jamming together. Ferguson started jamming with Murphy and Scott and they began searching for a bass player. Murphy knew of Patrick Pentland's vocal and guitar abilities from Pentland's previous bands and offered him a spot in the band. Bentland accepted, and Sloan was formed in late January 1991. The band is named after the nickname of their friend, Jason Larson. Larson was originally called Slow One by his French-speaking boss which, with a French accent, sounded more like Sloan. The original agreement was that they could name the band after Larson as long as he was on the cover of their first album. As a result, it is Larson who appears on the cover of the Peppermint EP. Gaffine Records. Peppermint EP, 1991-1992 On February 8, 1991, Sloan played their first show at an art show in Scott. Murphy and Pentland later switched trolls, with Pentland now playing guitar and Murphy playing bass. Through a battle of the band's type gig, the band got a spot on the DTK Records compilation Here and Now and a session with local producer Terry Pulliam at his Sound Market Studios. The band took the opportunity to record an album's worth of songs. One of the songs recorded was the song Underwhelmed, which was selected for the Here and Now compilation. The band attracted interest from Canadian record labels Network and MCA Canada. After attracting interest from Todd Sullivan, an A&R representative at Geffen Records, a copy of Sloan's Pulliam Sessions was sent to Sullivan. After seeing Sloan play in Vancouver, Sullivan committed to Sloan and the band signed to Geffen. In 1992, Sloan released their first recording, the EP Peppermint. It was released on the band's own label, Murder Chords. Smeared, Twice Removed, 1992-1994 On October 1, 1992, Sloan released their debut full-length album Smeared on Geffen. The lead single from the album was a re-recorded version of Underwhelmed, which was a hit in Canada and peaked at number 25 on Billboard's Modern Rock Tracks chart in the U.S. in 1993, Sloan embarked on a 10-week North American tour, which included dates opening for the Lemonheads. The band then later began recording their second album. The recordings for the album were a departure from the shoe or grunge style on the band's previous album, which did not please Geffen. When Sloan refused Geffen's request to re-record the album, Geffen pulled promotional support for it. In 1994,
the band released the second album, which was titled Twice Removed. Spin named the album one of the best albums you didn't hear in 1994. One chord to another to pretty together, 1995 to 2001 in the summer of 1995, Sloan re-emerged and played a handful of shows, including a headlining gig at Edgefest. In late 1995, when the band had considered themselves broken up, the band decided to release another Sloan album to help their murder records label financially and boost its profile. Though Geffen wanted to keep Sloan on the label, the band wanted to leave and Sloan was released from the label. In 1996, Sloan released one chord to another on murder records in Canada. The album would go on to sell over 80,000 copies and become their best-selling album. In 1997, the band won their first Juno Award, winning the Best Alternative Album Award for one chord to another. In 1998, the band released Navy Blues. Like one chord to another, Navy Blues achieved gold status in Canada. In 1999, Sloan released their first live album, Four Nights at the Palais Royale. The live album was followed that same year by their next studio album, Between the Bridges. In 2001, Sloan signed a licensing agreement with BMG Music Canada. That same year, Sloan released their next album, Pretty Together. Action Packed, Asides When, 2003-2005 Sloan made a concerted effort to break into the U.S. market on their 2003 release Action Packed. Songs were recorded in L.A. with Tom.